Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Reality Check, caring for hearts and minds. We have conversations around parenting, marriage, relationships, and the workplace. So if that's something of interest to you, get yourself a cup of coffee, tell your neighbor, tell your friend, and sit, let's have this conversation together. My name is Rachel Mwine, I'm your host, and I am joined by... Dr. Evers Atwine, who is not new to you. Dr. Evers is a relationship coach, a parenting coach, a marriage therapist, and she's also the founder of International Center for Family Life and Mental Health. Mental Health yes, <laughs> <laughs> I've not said it in a while, but yes, um, a, a practice that's a wonderful, has wonderful therapists. So if you need help in family, marriage, relationships, and the workplace, um, that's a, a place for you to go. And we're joined by Canary Ambrose. Canary is a clinical psychologist mm -hmm. trained in therapy for mm -hmm. marriages and family, yes. as well as addiction, mm -hmm. addiction in general. Again, if that's an area that you need support in, he is on hand to help you. And today we're going to be having a conversation around engaging children in a meaningful way. So the holiday, the long holiday, started a couple of weeks back. And if you're a parent, I'm sure you're thinking about how to keep your children engaged, mm. how to bond with them, how to have conversations with them, so that the holiday is meaningful and so that you understand your child a little better. Mm. So we thought, let's have a conversation in that regard sure. and mm. help a parent or two out there. So welcome, Canary. Welcome, Dr. Evers. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you both for being mm. here. Sure. So maybe a, a good starting point, actually, I wanted to ask Canary, because yes, you're a, right. a clinical psychologist. Mm. Why that? How did uh, you end up in, this, in that line of work? Yes. Mm. Well, I started out as a spiritual counselor. Oh, okay. I was doing that in church. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but before that, I struggled with addiction. Oh, yourself? And, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. in childhood trauma. Mm. So when I recovered, I felt um, I was better placed yeah. to help uh, people who are wounded. Okay. So I'm more of what you call a wounded healer. Mm. Nice, yes. nice. Yes. And that's very mm. much needed in our world today. Sure. Yes. Yeah, that a lot mm. of people, I mean, every time I'm talking with Dr. Evers, we always talk about how people are struggling, which is true. Mm. We all have issues, yes. um, and I think the older we grow, the mm. harder it becomes to ask for help or even yep. to find help. Sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, very appreciative that mm. from your own journey, you've decided, let me give back and help yeah. you know, other people who might be going. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So I think a, a good place to start would be understanding what the mm. benefits of engaging, why it is important for us to engage with our children. What are we likely to find? Um, why is it important? Mm -hmm. um, let's start there. We'll, we'll allow our uh, guest. <laughs> our guest, yes. should start yes. first. Okay. Yes. Yeah. First is, I would like to talk about attachment and how that um, empowers children in many ways. Mm -hmm. For example, when you look at self-esteem, yeah. when you look at <laughs> aspects of social interactions, social skills. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if, if a child is more attached to the parent, they have better social skills. Yes, because from, from, from birth, children learn social skills from their parents. So the smiles they're having with the mother, with the primary caregiver, the nonverbal communication, they're, they're learning how to socialize, yes. And so most of these uh, social disabilities or impairments are as a result of lack of attachment. So from that, Children require touch, love, and support to build um, certain aspects, psychological aspects like self-esteem. I mean, to be able to socialize well. Yes, we could start from there. All right. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Evers. Yeah. Um, for me, when when this conversation mm. came up, yeah. I just thought about the usual statement made mm. that an idle mind is a devil's mm, workshop. workshop. Mm. Yeah. So when we talk about engaging. Um, probably not entirely engaging them from the active, big activity mm. things yes. we know, <laughs> mm. but um, ensuring that uh, we utilize this period mm. to, to engage, to connect, mm. maybe to connect. That's a yes. good word. And um, um, I was also thinking about how 
maybe parents haven't thought about this, but I think about it a lot. Mm. How, especially children who who are in boarding schools, mm. <laughs> how much time we lose, how yes. disconnected we yeah. get. Yeah. Do you know that children spend more time in school, school. Mm. Yes. three months, mm. they come home. This is the longest holiday. Yeah. Mm. But when you think about it, it's not long, actually. It's not very yeah. long, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's a time when everyone is running all mm. over, mm. and we never have time to connect. Mm. Yes. Now, connection, as Canary has mentioned, mm. is the most important thing in mm. relationships. Yeah. Yeah. So you can be in families, but mm. you're not connected. Yeah. Yeah. You, everyone is running in different yeah, directions, okay. and mm. you just meet... You don't even meet for meals. No, everybody sort of yeah. it's as and when they you understand. Yeah. So it's it's like a hostel. Yeah. So so this time, mm -hmm. which is a little bit extended, I think we have like one month, one yes. solid About one month. solid month. Yes. yes. One solid month, mm -hmm. especially when we return from Christmas from celebrations. Mm -hmm. Then the importance of parents connecting with children. Mm. So yes. me, I'll talk about connection. Mm -hmm. And again, it is, it is related to what yeah. Canary has just been. Yeah. Um, mm. Bonding and, and having, being intentional about yeah. Yeah. our relationships, yes. mm. you know? So how can we have that? Yeah. How, how, can, how can we utilize this period mm. as a time to cement our relationships yeah. with yes. our children? Yeah. So that's the engage for me. I'm, I'm looking at it more yeah. from that standpoint. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm sure in a while we'll talk about other engagements, mm. but mm. as a starting point, I think, I think to be looked at as yeah. mm. an opportunity to have our children back mm. and 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 be intentionally. Mm. I can yes. never emphasize the importance mm. of intentionality, yeah. intentionally connecting with them. Yeah. That's very important, and I think it's interesting that you mentioned boarding school children because I had not thought about it. My mind, mm. I guess because I don't have a boarding school mm -hmm. child, mm. Um, my mind straight away went to the one that I see every day. Mm. But then you've been away for three months. I was watching a video recently, and they were talking about a married couple yeah. mm. being separated. Like if your work um, involves you traveling, mm -hmm. and you say the husband goes away for three weeks and the wife goes away for a month. Mm -hmm. When you come back, you need to make almost the same amount of time you've been away mm -hmm. yeah. to try and reconnect. Yeah. Because time lost means yeah. connection has been yeah. lost mm -hmm. as yeah. well. And I think it's the same with our children, yeah. that we need to be intentional about creating that bond that's right yeah even more than even beyond providing mm, because yeah. i'm sure that's the excuse a lot of mm. parents give i have mm. to work you know and provide mm. for for these children just to mention yeah. Go ahead. but what uh, doctor is mentioning mm. is very true that these interactions sometimes are not intentional mm. yeah. so you have a child coming from boarding mm. and sometimes the parent is thinking okay we need to sit down and budget yeah. what is your list Mm. Yes. Give me your list. Yeah. And so the interactions are more of goal oriented. Mm. So we're going to the supermarket mm -hmm. to shop for your next school. Yes. Um, you know? That's all. Term. Mm. Mm. And, and to the parent, they think this is bonding. They do, yes. <laughs> but to the child, it's not. This is just another yeah. activity yeah. that has nothing to do with, with me. With me bonding yeah. with you. Yeah. So we need to be more intentional, come from these so structured mm. uh, interactions mm -hmm. because sometimes the parent wants okay in the morning i'm seated with you mm. tell me how was your day yes. and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and in that the child the child is not connected with you yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. they are being interrogated yes yes, so yes. it's an interrogation mm. yeah but speaking of intentionality mm. uh, it just reminds me of what i've always um mm advised as a parenting coach that mm -hmm. uh, which I've failed to do during this period by the way oh, really? so if I can confess <laughs> uh, um, th this particular period has been hard mm -hmm. but uh, slowing down a little bit yeah. intentionally because the children mm -hmm. are home mm -hmm. now yes. if you want me to talk about uh, boarding schools yeah. once again mm -hmm. you know I don't know whether parents have noticed that mm -hmm. children go away for three months or more mm. and come back for two weeks. Yeah. Now, post-COVID, it's yeah. even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think children stay one month yes. or rather one, one week, week and yeah. go back. Trying to catch up. So it is so it is so bad. But mm. we've never thought about it yeah. Yeah. as 
a way of um, disconnecting with our children. Yes. Mm. And, and sometimes, by the way, it's, it seems convenient mm. yes. <laughs> to parents. Yes. And I've always told parents that if your parenting is convenient, mm. be then careful. Then a problem, yeah. Yeah, yeah. be careful. Yeah. Because most likely you're losing connection with, with your, your children. Yes. Mm. So we never look at it as a, a thing that robs Mm. as of time, time. Yeah. with our children yeah. so if they are just here two weeks mm. and then we are just looking we, we only look at it as an inconvenience mm. in terms of getting money for School the next fees. term yes. yes but it actually it takes more from us mm. yeah so now when they come mm. we always advise please slow down a little bit mm. from work if you have to take leave yes. during this time when children yeah. are home, mm. be Make intentional. Mm. Be intentional. And, and, and children don't need so much structure. Yeah. Yeah. They only need you to be natural yes. and to connect naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So then they will say, oh, you're here today. Yeah. Can we go swimming? Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's what they need. Yeah. Or oh, can we just go buy ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. That. So, but what happens in the real sense is mm. that parents wait until they are taking children back. Yeah. Then they that take them day. out. <laughs> mm. Sometimes they don't take them out. That's when they talk to them. Oh. Yeah. That's when they talk to them. Yeah. You're going back to school. Please mm. don't shame mm. us. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. those kinds yeah. of conversations. Yeah. So it's always advisable. Please mm. let's utilize this little time. Mm. Yes. Which, which seems more, because mm. it's like two months, but yes. it's actually not two mm. months. Yeah. <laughs> it's very short. It's so yeah. short. Mm. But the, the, if we could utilize January, mm. let's use that time. Go out with them. Look at yeah. this. Look at that. Yeah. And, and do little nothings which are so yes. powerful yep. in terms of strengthening relationships. Yes. And I, I think f I want us to toe the line of uh, conversation and bonding mm. because some parents might genuinely be clueless yeah. mm. about how to do that. I, we were earlier talking about, for example, having five children mm. and you were telling me that every child is a project. Yeah. You know, so you Full understand time. your... <laughs> This the first born differently from the way you understand the third mm. or the, the fifth. And so I want us to help parents who are watching and caregivers. How do we create this environment? Because it's, sometimes it's even more than activity because mm -hmm. there might be a child who just wants to sit and be yeah. next to their yeah. mother. Yeah. And that for them is bonding. Yeah. So how do we create this environment yeah. um, for bonding, for conversations? That's not interrogation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm genuinely interested in knowing you. Mm. How do we help parents? Yes. Yeah. One, like we all agree, don't structure it. Mm. Yeah. Don't structure it. Yeah. But be able to pick on the cues because mm -hmm. mm. you'll know some, um, some, some children mm. connect more with emotions. Mm. Mm. Others connect more with activities. Yes. So learn your child's your personality. Child's... Mm. Wow. Okay. Learn your child's personality. Mm. Let it be natural. Mm. Let it be natural. Mm -hmm. If the kids just want you to take a walk with them, mm. then do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. And if you're having a conversation, don't be interrogative. Mm. Let it be natural. Mm. Oh, so your friend did this. Mm. Okay, tell me more about that. Mm. Yeah. Probe, let the conversation flow. flow. Naturally. Hear yeah. what their they inclinations say. are. What, I mean, what, um, how do they, their perspectives, what perspective do they have? Mm. Because correcting a perspective doesn't need you to lecture. Mm. Yes, you listen first. Okay. Oh, so this is what you think. Mm. This is what you think about alcohol. Okay. Mm. And then <laughs> you can have a conversation yeah. on that. Yeah. Yes. And before you, if you go like, oh, sure, now I want to tell you, you see? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> go going to full, cut off. Yeah. full guns, yeah. 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 Especially teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. teenagers, yes. yes. They will yeah. throw you out yeah. of their life. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting. Engage them. Mm. Yeah. Hear the perspective. Yeah. Help them question their own perspective. Yeah. Mm. Oh, do you think this is true? Mm -hmm. So do you think that alcohol could make you confident? Do you think that's mm. true? Hmm? How many people have you seen that have taken it and gotten confident? Mm. Maybe their confidence is out of place. Mm. So have the conversation. Yes. About it. Yeah. Mm. That's so funny because right now my eight-year-old mm. knows about alcohol, but mm. the only thing he knows about alcohol is that it makes people drunk. I know. Mm. So now every time we're in a, a public place mm. and he sees someone holding alcohol, mm. <laughs> he actually goes up to people and says, you're drinking Tuscalite? <laughs> you're going to get drunk. <laughs> 
So I think also the age matters. Yes, yeah, the um, age matters. The, the age-appropriate conversations, and yeah. I, I think, Ivas, you can speak to that's, that. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh, before the age, I just wanted to amplify what yeah. Canary had talks, has talked about, mm -hmm. personality, mm -hmm. understanding your child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely different. Mm -hmm. And, and um, the, the, their desire is for you to know them. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And uh, when a child senses that you're bundling them up, mm. um, you, 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 you don't understand them. Mm. They connect. Because that's, that's, that's the thing in relationships. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yes. You, you're trying to connect with me, but mm. do you understand, do you understand me? me? Yeah. Do, do you know me? Do you know mm. what I like? Do you know what I struggle with? Do mm. you know? So, and, and this is always rooted. Mm. Understanding someone and appreciating them and mm. accepting them as they are yeah. is rooted in, in both quantity and quality, and quality. time. Yes. Mm. Yes. Now, I've got parents ask me, um, but do we need to spend so much time? Uh, it's what matters is quality. No, I say both. Mm. Both. Mm. Because quantity matters. Yeah. Um, how you, you connect with someone on a daily mm. yes. will, will help you yeah. understand them. Mm. And when you understand, mm. please take each child yeah. as, a different as a different person. person. Yeah. Mm. And make sure you don't mm. show mm. Um, preferences mm. or you know, try mm. to make yeah. them be like mm. another. Mm. That is a starting point. Mm. The second point mm. is, is, is for us to... Um, is for us to to, to check in mm. just simple as mm. canary is saying nothing mm. structured mm. Mm. um are you okay like mm. how do we show care yeah. yes. because care mm. and grace mm -hmm. are the most powerful yeah. powerful yeah. tools of yeah. connection yeah. Yeah. if someone senses that you care about them mm. they'll be drawn to you for sure yeah. now sometimes we say oh love uh, mm. conquers but how does love manifest? Mm. Yes. It is in someone is interested in yes. me and cares about yes. me. And so parents, just asking simple things. Yeah. Are you okay? Mm. How is it this morning? Mm. Do you know that we, we, most of the time we don't have that? No. Yeah. Everyone yeah. is running, running and we are so busy yeah. and we are mm. working so hard. Mm. But there is no time for little check-ins. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? How did you sleep? Mm. Is everything okay? You don't seem okay this mm -hmm. morning. Are you okay? Mm. And the child will say, I'm fine, I'm fine, mommy. Mm. But that's very important. Mm. But it communicates a big message. Mm. Someone cares about For me. Sure. That is a very strong point of bonding. Yeah. yeah? We, we, no one in life wants to bond with a stranger. Yes. For sure. Yeah. So when, when someone does, when you know that someone understands you mm. and cares about you, mm. then there is a natural need. Yeah. You, you feel compelled to bond yes. with them. Yeah. But if someone, if, and, and, and I've always told uh, people this, mm. let me repeat it here. Mm. It's not enough to be related. Mm. Mm. Yes, no. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They can be your child as much as they yeah. are, mm. but they'll be disconnected and with you. No connection. Yeah. There's sad. no connection. There's no connection. So as long as a parent mm. is not showing interest yeah. in a child's affairs mm. and the child senses that, mm. <laughs> well, um, yeah. dad is here, but mm. they're just, not really they call here. them ATMs. Mm. Oh yeah, they say that is just an ATM. When I wow. need money, mm. I go to them. When yeah. I need a good phone, mm. I go to them. But in terms of relationship, there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. You see? And, and it's even very sad. Mm. Um, if there was this word sad, I, I would say it, but it's very <laughs> sad yeah. even when moms, because moms, yeah. moms are more relational. Yes. Yeah. And, and when a mom is disconnected mm. and, and very busy, very out mm. of home, mm. especially during this time, mm. it is, it's tough. It's tough, and, yeah. and because we also mm. see the detail of life, yeah, yeah so if, if, if we are also busy running up and mm. down and then boom, uh, it's time Before to take the it. children to school. Yeah. So that that little that naturalness mm. is what brings bonding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Mm. Maybe yeah. to add on what yes. doctor mm. is saying, mm. being in their presence mm. is also intentional. Mm. Um, I have three girls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so in the morning, mm. I go to their room yes. and just sit on the bed. Come to their yeah. level. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I come to their level. Mm. So me just being there is actually communicating something that I'm yeah. here. Yeah. You're not going to start a conversation with someone when you're not giving them attention. Yeah. For sure. 
Yes. Yeah. So be intentional about it and mm -hmm. be in their presence. Come mm -hmm. to their world. Mm -hmm. That's why when you're doing counseling for children or talking to children, mm -hmm. come down to their level. Yeah. I, I think the old trainers used to say you actually have to sit down sit with down. the child. Yeah. So you're the same height. Yes, yeah. you're the yeah. same height. Yeah. Yes, the whole principle is get to their world. Mm -hmm. Come to their world. Mm. Don't sit up here. I mean, you could have a phone call or send, buy them this iPhone and mm. then you text them good morning. Mm. Touch, there, there yes. is something in touch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the wow. bonding common in touch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, speaking of which, very mm. important. Mm -hmm. Oxytocin. Mm -hmm. Oxytocin is a, home, a bonding hormone that yeah. is found in touch. Yes. Um, so mm -hmm. it's, um, um, I've always um, mm -hmm. asked parents, please, mm -hmm. this is the time your children are nearer. Mm -hmm. yes. you, you asked about bonding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are nearer. Mm -hmm. Please touch them. Touch them. Mm -hmm. Touch them. Greet them. Yeah. Uh, hug them mm -hmm. and do all that. That mm -hmm. touch is what brings bonding. Yeah. 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 But if we say, you people have you woken up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the way from your room mm -hmm. <laughs> with a microphone. I know. So, so it's it's very yeah. important that we yeah. pay attention to small things. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out life mm -hmm. is in small things. Yeah. So if we want to bond, mm -hmm. that's how we have to pay attention to yeah. small yeah. things. Yeah. That's in the in the natural world, mm -hmm. animals don't separate from their young ones. Mm -hmm. They keep them so close. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the whole point of touch is so amazing. Yeah. Because Development evolves around touch. Touch. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What, what do you mean by development? Development In, of the child. Yeah, development yeah. of the child. Cognitive, Cognitive development, yes. okay. social development. Yeah. Immunity. Yes. Yeah, immunity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. We take yeah. these things for granted. We do, mm -hmm. don't we? We really do. I mean, this is bonding. <laughs> 101. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking us back to That's school. That's so good. Um, yeah. So I think there's also a growing concern. Uh, by parents and caregivers about their children getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. So the wrong company, mm -hmm. addictions, you know, alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. especially, you know, when children are coming back for the holiday, parents are wondering, mm -hmm. first of all, how do I keep them out of trouble? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's, of course, the parent who's thinking, how do I bond with my child? Mm -hmm. But I want us to talk about keeping them out of trouble. Is there anything preemptive parents can do mm -hmm. to keep their children away from, I guess, what we would consider bad company mm. or bad vices, mm. let me put it that way. Mm. Yeah. One is the bonding. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one will keep reiterating. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if you have a better bond with a child, mm -hmm. they have better self-esteem mm. and better belief in, 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 themselves. in themselves and what they're capable of mm. because all these behaviors that are out of normal behavior, mm. they are a result of things like anxiety, mm. lack of belief in self, depression, sure. and all these things, yeah. Yeah. which can be linked back to the nature of bond Between the child the has. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But secondly, I mean, you should model the right behavior. Mm. Yeah. We're not going to be preaching, um, don't do this. I mean, the, when you do addiction counseling, you mm. go to a family's home and mm. They have a bar. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's like a tall order for, yeah. um, for a practitioner yeah. mm -hmm. because where are you starting from? Yeah. Yes, because you can't be telling a child, don't smoke, don't do this when the father is doing He's this doing or it. the yeah. mother is doing this. Yeah. So modeling, what are you modeling? What mm -hmm. behavior are you modeling? Mm -hmm. Be intentional. Um, if you're telling kids, don't come back at this time, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. Yes. What are you doing? Yes. Are you accountable? Because mm. kids, yes. children learn. You'd be amazed by yeah. observation. Yeah. 80% apparently. apparently. Imagine 80% yes. of what a child mm -hmm. learns is yeah. modeled. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So if, mm. um, um, if, mm. sorry, can I no, So if, mm. if, if parents have mm. to, whatever we want, yeah. we have to first do it. Mm. Yes. Mm. And so the question is, what are the children seeing? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, just to add to what Canary was saying, mm -hmm. most of the time children are, are angry. Mm -hmm. um, what he mentioned is um, most of those behaviors are mm -hmm. rooted in depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, for instance, addiction mm -hmm. has deeper roots in mm -hmm. 
depression yeah. because you're looking for something to make yeah. you a Escape. little happy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And um, um, I've always told people that um, human beings naturally desire mm. pleasure and mm. happiness. Yeah. And so uh, if anything mm. is, taking away. is taking away your happiness, yeah. you're going to struggle so much to be happy mm. by all means. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how children, and, and of course in our practice, mm. like almost all the children we meet with, mm. they are coming from troubled, troubled families, homes, yeah. Yeah, troubled homes. Mm. So the home environment is yeah. extremely important. Yeah. Mm. That, that if you don't want your children to drink, mm. please don't have a mini bar at home. <laughs> yes. They're going to see yeah. because once once they see dad drink, mm. yeah. they know that that's acceptable. Okay. They see mm. mommy drink, yeah. and so you can't say, please, you people don't, don't drink until you're mm. old. No, they only look at this as yeah. a, a human behavior that yeah. is acceptable. Yeah. But then I also wanted to mention something about um, when you started, you asked about bad company. Bad company, mm. yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, every parent um, is trying to protect their child from bad company. Bad company, yeah. yes. But one of the things I've always said, just make sure that your child is not bad company. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, because yeah. your child can actually be, be bad, bad company. company. Yeah, that's true. And so instead of, mm. of uh, trying to protect our children from bad com mm -hmm. companies, let, let's try to make our children good, good company. company. Let yeah, it start yes. with us. Yeah. Let, let's, let's, let's talk. Mm. Mm. Let's yeah. talk. Mm. And um, um, I, I love what Canary Ken mentioned earlier about uh, mm. structured conversations. Mm. Mm. Um, there is a place for structured conversations. Yes. Mm. There's a place for what we call uncomfortable conversations yeah. with children. Mm. Yeah. That's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to encourage parents, yes. actually, when you observe something in, in, mm. in, in, in your child, in child. Mm. Um, make sure you create a, an environment where mm. you can have this uncomfortable conversation without creating so much anxiety. Mm. Yeah. If, if you have to take them out mm. or go mm. swimming, mm. and then you say, by the way, I noticed this. Mm. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And, and then you have that conversation. Mm. I'm, I'm a little concerned about, about this. Yeah. Maybe mm. I'm not reading oh, the signals yes. okay, yeah. but I'm, I'm looking at this. I mm. really want to encourage parents yeah. to get out of appeasement yes. mm. yeah mm. and during this period if mm. you have observed something yes. please initiate some uncomfortable mm. conversations, conversations. Mm. because children spend time with us we yeah. are seeing things we cover up mm. and then we send them to school yeah. yes. and we say probably someone, someone will, will yes. you know the it, metron yeah. or mm. someone no these are our children yes. yeah. that's why you've heard me say mm. um we've taken uh, comfort in our children of these days we yeah. have nothing mm. to do and i've always said to parents there's no child there's no parent called these days yes. <laughs> these are our children and they are yes. they are our children mm. if you have to have that those mm. hard conversations mm. please do mm. if you have mm. to um connect your children to therapy yeah. mm. please do during yeah. this time that's when we have a little bit of time mm. let a professional speak to them yeah. mm. but let's be mindful yes. mm. of protecting our children mm. from yes. bad behaviors mm. because you know the world is infected yes. yeah and it's only our families that are the healing points yeah. yes right yeah. so if we do not invest intentionally mm. in this yeah. then that's uh, a problem the yeah. second th that's mm. the third or second thing mm. is uh, the issue of spending time with children mm. i want to once again go i, I think we're talking about the same thing yeah. but um mm. let's emphasize it yeah. mm. one of the reasons that um, most children are struggling with bad behavior mm. is parents are totally unaware mm. yeah true they're yeah. totally unaware. Yeah. Mm. It's not uncommon for us to meet children mm. who, for instance, spend nights out of the, farm, of the yeah. home mm. and parents have no, no idea. idea, no clue, mm. yeah. no clue. I remember some years mm. back um, when two, two, two girls, mm. they went for a house party mm. and, uh, and, uh, and they, were, they were raped, mm. yes, and they were raped mm. and they were out of, of home. Mm. For three nights, the parents weren't aware. What? Mm. They were not aware. Three nights? Yes. Mm. Three nights. Oh. And it was a housemaid mm. who was taking these children to the clinic to be treated. 
the parents yeah. were no, absolutely no clueless. Mm. You see how dangerous yeah. it is? Yeah. So once the parents are not in touch with mm -hmm. what is happening mm. in yes. the home, mm. it's absolutely dangerous. Yeah. It's very hard to yeah. protect your children from mm. these vices yeah. when you mm. are not in aware. charge and yeah. aware of mm. what is happening yes. and this is happens once again with us parents mm. saying oh i have to work very hard mm. oh i'm making mm. now there's nothing wrong with making ends yes. meet yeah. but then ultimately what yeah. mm. ultimately yeah. what if you have mm. no idea about what is happening to your children yeah, yeah. Yeah, so spending time and mm. intentionally. Yeah. You see what I was talking mm. about, slowing yeah. down a little yes. bit to reconnect with, yes. with, with family. Yes. Very, very important. Yes. Are your children home? Are mm. they, who are they, who are their friends? Yeah. Who are they, you know, mm. who, what are they interested in before mm. you even worry about their friends? Yes. They, them, what are their perspectives? What is mm. their mental outlook towards mm. a number of things? Mm. And so, Let's not live with children who are strangers to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And yeah. then later on we say, how can you do this to yeah. this family? But <gasps> yeah, yeah, we are more concerned about image. image. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Than, than what actually yeah. the child is going than through. Than what the child is going through. That's, that's really, really sad. And I think, mm. I don't know who I had this conversation with, but I think we were talking about how, you know, we parent the way we were parented. Yes. And mm. so you cannot pour from an empty cup. Yeah. yeah. I think that even as we speak to parents, we need to get parents to seek help for themselves. And you're both therapists. So I would like for you to talk to a parent out there who, mm. you know, they understand the truth. They say, mm. okay, that sounds nice, but I don't know how to do it because I never experienced mm. it. You know, maybe mm. I came from a broken family mm. myself. And so I'm just giving my child, I'm repeating the cycle and giving my child what I was given. Yeah. That's absolutely true, mm. uh, Rich. I'm glad you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. um, matter of fact, mm. whenever we are counseling mm. children, we find that uh, the parents need more help. Mm. Yeah. And it is mm. okay. Yeah, It's absolutely it's okay. Let me mm. tell you, this job of, yes. of, of nurturing a human being mm. and, and determining their yeah. success path, in that yes. path in life, yes. That's not a cup of coffee. No, yes. it's not. You see? So why we encourage parents to utilize every opportunity mm. to learn? Because mm. parenting is a skill. Yeah. Mm. It's one thing to be a mother and a dad. Mm. But to be a parent, yeah. parenting is a skill. Mm. That's why we, we conduct parenting classes. Yes. Mm. So, so people know that it doesn't just come natural. Mm. Yes. No. What mm. comes natural is just giving birth to a child. Yes. yes. But to nurture them mm. is skill. It's skill. It mm. is skill. Mm. Now, for instance, does a parent know what kind of parent they are? You know? Last, yeah. last time I, mm. I tried to talk about um, mm. the, the four categories mm. of parents. The mm. authoritarian, mm. Who, who just give orders, orders. and, and mm. they never listen to children. They mm. never have conversations. They have no idea. Mm. Everything is about rules and regulations, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. You see? And if a child doesn't meet mm. obligations, they are rejected. Mm. Yeah. And so what happens wow. when a child feels rejected? Yeah. Why would they would would they, they go end in, yeah, into in you know? Yeah. Uh, um, we have uh, we have permissive mm. parents mm. who just allow a child to. There there are no mm. rules, no regulations. <laughs> it's Anything all freedom. Goes. <laughs> Anything yeah. goes. Yes. Yeah. And so what happens yeah. when they are here? Mm. So when, mm. when they say, "I want to go and uh, for a house party," yes, yes. Mm. I want to go for uh, yes, mm. yes. And so a parent is not in charge. Mm -hmm. And then we have a third um, mm -hmm. other uh, uh, parenting style, mm -hmm. which is neglectful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a parent who mm -hmm. is neglectful, mm -hmm. you have no idea. That's what we've just been talking yeah. about. Yeah. Then you, you have no idea what, what is happening yeah. to your children. Mm -hmm. Because mm. you're busy, you work, mm. after that you go to bar, then you have company, then you're connecting mm. with your boys. Mm. And what happens? Then you have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's very important to know a person a parent's parenting style mm. yes because not every parenting style mm. is healthy for for mm. a child yeah. you see so there are certain parenting styles that mm. throw children into negative coping mm. behaviors mm. you it. see because drug abuse and mm. all these things 
while there is um, something about peer pressure and mm. all, but mm. much of it is actually rooted in, in yeah. low self-esteem, yes. in, in, in depression, mm -hmm. in stress and all that. Mm. And so it's very important that parents yeah. understand their parenting styles. Their yeah. parenting styles that yeah. are totally and yeah. Effect, yeah. Ineffective, ineffective. Mm -hmm. ineffective and unproductive. Yeah. So very, very important. Yeah. And then um, lastly, on, 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 on my part, I wanted to emphasize the issue of uh, parents understanding their emo the emotional stature yes. of the children. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, these children we have here, especially teenagers, we did mm. a session on, on teenagers, but mm. they, they are more prone to depression. Mm. Yeah. And uh, during such a time, Mm. They, they, they want to be very active, very mm. active and very mm. active and, and again it's very important to know which activity they are getting in. Mm. Is, it, is it healthy? Mm. Is, it, is, it, is it energizing mm. or is it something that is likely to? Mm. But uh, uh, the, the point I was mentioning mm. is are we in touch with our children's emotional? Mm. Mm. stature mm. because you're not going to know mm. if all if you sleep in the same house get up rush mm. um uh, go to work come back in the night there mm. and then you say but i sleep at home mm. no yeah. the, it's um, when we connect with children you're going to see uh, mm. the unusualness mm. um this this child who used to be bubbly mm. um mm. They, they are currently, you know, yeah, with very drone. withdrawn. Yeah. So what is happening? And once we, we connect with that, we are mm. able to say, mm, are you doing okay? Mm. Um, there's something, they say, oh, no, I'm fine. But mm. if we are in touch with them, we are mm. going to be able to see. Yeah. So this, is, this ties in with the bonding we yeah. mentioned mm. earlier. Yeah. And if we are going to protect our children from certain vices. Mm. Because once someone is depressed mm. or, or stressed or anx anxious, mm. it's natural for them to want to vent. Mm. And so we have to be very careful that then home becomes and, and parents become good outlets for these children. Yeah. Mm. If they are going to look for alternative outlets, then it's going to be problematic. Yes. That's how they end, end up, in certain yeah. places. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I think the most affected institution right now is the family. For sure. Yeah. Mm. And um, the studies which show, for example, a study done in suicide, mm. which showed that suicide has a likability of being transferred two generations down. Really? Mm. So if you have a grandfather who committed suicide, chances are, chances are you are yeah. likely to commit it. So I'm mm. talking about what are the predispositions mm. of a child going into these behaviors. Mm. So if you know your family who have struggled with, for example, alcohol use mm. and um, abuse, abuse, then be careful what you're exposing your children, your children to. to. Yes, yeah. because they already have the genetic mm. inclinations. Mm. So be careful of what you're exposing them to. But mm. also, we have a generation that is disconnect from the family unit. Yes. In the old times, mm -hmm. I mean, you saw girls used to play with babies, mm. watch their mothers breastfeed. Mm. Today, it's very hard it's to find very, a breastfeeding mother. Yes. <laughs> so yes. where do you see expect them. the generation to <laughs> learn yeah. that from? Yeah. Yeah. So they don't learn that. Yeah. That's why we need um, a holistic approach. Mm -hmm. If someone is doing anti are they being taught some of these things? Because mm. most times parents are shocked. Yeah? Mm. You have a teenager and you don't know what to do because you didn't see this. If yeah. you had maybe cousins mm -hmm. and you're in the vicinity, but because yeah. also we have decided to disconnect, mm -hmm. you know, most people tend to meet their loved ones oh. only during the festive season. Oh. Stay connected with them yeah. because then you're creating support structures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have a brother who has a child who's struggling, maybe your uncle knows how to speak to this child. Mm. So that is a family support unit. Mm -hmm. We have broken that apart and we've gone for individuation mm. and this whole capitalistic approach. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and, yeah. and I think we need to bring some old things back. I think mm. so. We've lost uh, the it takes mm. a village to raise yes. a child yes. approach. Yes. And I think families are suffering mm. for it. Yeah. I know that, I guess with every approach, it has its pros and cons, but mm. there was a time where a village mm. contributed to raising a child, so I would look out for your children, yep. you would look out for my children, kind yeah. of kind of mm. arrangement. So yeah, I feel like that disconnect is there, and, yes. and we're starting to feel its effects. Mm. Um, 
but maybe that's why reality check exists that's right yeah. <laughs> so we yeah. can share information no as absolutely much as absolutely there's no more village mm. we actually are taking joy in a few mm. existing now as yes. who still have villages yes. but uh, I don't know what is going to happen in the next in 10 the next years. Yeah. There are certain structures that mm. probably have been broken and they will yeah. be broken. Mm. And um, uh, for me, I'm not so sure about bringing back the old. Mm. I think we just need to position ourselves and embrace mm. certain things that have happened. There are certain yeah. structures that mm. have happened. For instance, mm. you remember when we were having conversations around how uncles used to um, speak to boys and, yes. and all that. Like, yes. where is it? Yes. But what do we have in its place? Mm. You, in you today's see, yeah. Era. So I, yeah. I'm, I'm not against the old. Mm. If we can nurture them, good. Mm -hmm. But in the likely event that we are mm. not going to nurture them, mm. what are we? How are we embracing opportunities? Because mm. everything that comes mm. has its own opportunities. Yeah. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we engaging our children mm. in? Um, so that's why family, family, mm. here, this family. Because mm. now that we have become a little individualistic, mm. then how can we strengthen this structure? This structure, mm. yes. Yeah, and make sure that children benefit from this structure. And that's mm. why we are saying let the home environment be, be, be clear mm. of things that are going to expose children to this. Mm. Let's, let's have parents who are equipped with the parenting skills, knowing yes. that... Your, your parenting style can drive a child into negative yeah. coping behaviors mm. yes. and 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 uh, and uh, let let children be empowered let mm. them find home mm. a place where they can share their stresses mm. feel helped mm. and and all that and if they don't let them find alternative ways mm. like speaking to a therapist <laughs> a professional mm. let children be equipped with basic stress management mm. skills mm. so that they don't have to run into negative coping negative. behaviors. Yeah. You know, so this family, now that we no longer have a village, because mm. in my village now, probably I don't know my neighbor. It's possible. So what mm. kind of village is that? Yeah. So that's why we have to do things here. Mm. Now we can cry, we can regret, we can be, I, I don't know, as, mm. Um, mm. as wishful as can be. Mm. But if things um, have broken most likely mm. we need to regroup, regroup yes. we need to regroup yes. utilize the existing opportunity i love mm. scripture which talks about god has given us everything we need for life yes. and for godliness yes. so we only need to be alert mm. we need to look around and say oh mm. this is no longer there mm. so let me utilize this this mm. opportunity that's true, yeah. yeah. Indeed, the era has changed. Yeah. And I think mm. rather than cry over spilled milk, yeah. mm. there are certain things that we might still be able to incorporate, yes. but ultimately, what do we have now yeah. mm. in our arsenal and how can we utilize, utilize. it? Yeah. Yeah. Equip parents, equip children yes. um, with, with basic skills. Because skills. values are timeless. For sure. Values yeah. are timeless. Yeah. And if you're going to teach certain values, you're going to teach patience, you're going to teach resilience, mm. you're going to teach, you know, whatever you're going to help children mm. be mm. equipped with. Mm. That's timeless. It is irrespective of whether you were born in the 90s or, mm. or 2000s or whatever. Yeah. Let, let's focus on teaching yeah. and let parents teach yeah. and let them repeat. Yes, the teaching. Yes. Rachel, you are in, in this world more than um, <laughs> you were in before us. Yes. But there is what is called the power of impression. Mm. The power of impression actually teaches us that effectiveness of any message is in mm. the number of times it is repeated. Mm. Right? Mm. So if a parent teaches, don't do hit and run. Mm. No, talk to a child. And repeat it tomorrow. Yes. And and find a way, uh, uh, an irritating way, mm. <laughs> to repeat to repeat it, mm. and 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 say, you know, we read about this. Let's talk about it mm. again. Do you know it's very important? Mm. Maybe you haven't seen this. And mm. then repeat it. Mm -hmm. And that is all in the quantity of time yeah. we spend with children Wonderful. and quality. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. We're coming to a close, yeah. <laughs> and I wanted as your parting shots. Uh, for canary especially to speak to a parent who mm. is not even um, 
they are not in the preemptive stage. They are mm. like, my child is full blown into mm. drug abuse, mm. into addiction. They have mm. found coping mechanisms. I'm confused. <coughs> I'm frustrated. Mm. To speak to that parent as we wrap this conversation up mm. on how they can engage with this child meaningfully. How can they how can they find help mm. for this child? What's a starting point? Where can I go for mm. this kind of help? Um, and then yeah, we'll, you'll each have just a minute to sure. to wrap this up. Okay. Well, I would say seek professional help. Yeah. Seek professional help. Mm -hmm. um, don't dilly dally what's happening. Mm -hmm. Be honest with yourself, with yourself and be realistic. If you have seen the child lose it, mm -hmm. seek professional help. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. There are therapists, uh, there are psychiatrists. Mm -hmm. Seek professional help okay. because sometimes um, this this has been a pattern. Mm -hmm. Someone is struggling with a psychological ailment mm -hmm. and they are taken to church or they are taken to a witch doctor mm. and by the time they are brought into therapy yeah. the situation has gotten worse mm. yes. did therapy work for you off the bat oh yeah it in did in your experience mm. yes it okay. did okay yes all right mm. Mm. doctor my parting shots um once again to ask parents to be intentional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be intentional. There's nothing we get out of, mm. of casualness. Mm. Um, if we are going to raise our children, get all that we want to get, mm -hmm. we are going to, it's going to be, um, it's going to be return on investment. Yes. Mm. And so the time we spend is not mm. wasted. Mm. Um, you choosing to take your children to the, to the uh, grandparents, mm. taking them up country to see the, the farms that, they, that you have set up, there's nothing they're just going to learn out mm. of wishful thinking. Mm. They are going to learn out of our deliberate steps mm. to teach them and engage them. Mm. And um, this, uh, I always tell people that the brain is, is the very, very interactive um, mm. um, part of part our of lives. Our and uh, if we do not engage it, mm. it just goes to sleep. Mm. So anything you want your child to learn, utilize this season mm. and make sure that you teach them character, mm -hmm. you emphasize it, you teach them engagement, you teach mm. them hard work, you mm. teach them all these things that help them to be better people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, um, we are measured by our fruit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank mm. you both. Thank you, Dr. Evers. Thank mm. you, Canary. Do they address you as doctor? Dr. Canary? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Not yet or no? No, <laughs> not yet. No, no. All right. Not no, yet. not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, so there yet. you have it. Mm -hmm. um, children are back for the holiday. We, we can't run away from it. We can't bury our heads in the mm -hmm. sand. We're living in a completely different era. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, screens everywhere, yeah. TVs, gadgets, yeah. mm -hmm. and there are all these things that are screaming for our children's mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. I pray and I hope that even from this conversation that your attention will supersede yeah. mm -hmm. all of these things. Gadgets. Their mm -hmm. friends, their, you know, their teachers, their, um, their peers, mm -hmm. their gadgets, the, mm -hmm. the, you know, the things that are all, social media, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Mm -hmm. And there's both good and bad that is coming out of you know, these areas. So let's pray and hope that you've picked something that can help you on this journey with your child. Intentionality cannot be overemphasized. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. need to make the time. And if you are like Dr. Evers who has five children mm -hmm. or Canary who has three, mm -hmm. every child is special mm -hmm. and different yeah, and, and unique. Diff a different project. And you, you can't bundle them all up together. Mm -hmm. It has to be one at a time. Sure. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comment section what you have taken away from this conversation. And uh, if there's anything you felt like we didn't cover fully, please let us know as well in the comments and we'll make time to have another conversation regarding the same. We'll be back next week with another exciting topic right here on Reality Check. Bye-bye for now.